and good afternoon and happy Friday. Yep, it's Friday. So, to the end of today's video, I'm going to be making a Descendants 2 review. A review review for Descendants 2. And Victorious is on, by the way. So, yeah. Let's get started. So, yeah. So I guess I'm gonna be doing my movie review now. So yeah, so if you didn't know, Descendants Two is a sequel to the third Descendants movie. The Descendants movie is about the children of Disney villains, and it stars the main cast of it is Dove Cameron, Cameron Boyce, um, Boobla Stewart, and. So, Sia Carson, and a bunch of other cool people. So, yeah. And. The uh, acting is really good, and the songs are really good. It's a musical, by the way. Both of them have a lot of songs in them. So, yeah. But I don't think... I don't think the first one, though, was as long as the second one. And the first one, I thought the first one, the first one came out in, like, 2016 or 2015. And I thought the first one was good, really, really good, really good. And so, yeah, I was excited when I figured out they were making a second one. I saw it online that they are making a second one. I was excited. So excited, and I waited for months and months. Until it finally came out, and it finally came out on Friday, July 21st, which was, I think, last Friday, but if I'm mistaken, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was last Friday, because the third episode of the Raven Tome came out last Friday, too, I think. I think. Sorry if I'm mistaken. But anyway, so, yeah, I, wa I came home. On Friday night, and I watched Descendants 2. It was a really long movie. I just like laid in my room in my bed and watched it. I let my phone charge while I was watching it. And I watched it. And it didn't end till like the middle of the night. Like 1 or 2 a.m. Because I started watching it at 11 and I got home. So I'm eating dinner and getting ice cream and stuff. So, yeah, but anyway, I thought it was really good. I loved it. I loved all my main characters, and I loved the new characters. I liked um, Gaston, the new character, the new villain kids, Gaston's son. He was really funny, and I, li I liked um, Captain, I think it's Captain Hook. I'm not sure. Yeah, Captain Hook's son. He was a bad guy, but he had a really, really good, awesome accent. So he was cool. Besides being a bad guy, and then there was Uma, which is played by I don't know if you guys remember um, Ant Farm on Disney Channel, the show that used to be on Disney Channel about the like gifted how gifted people. Remember it had like Sierra McCormick, China McLean, and then. Forgot the guy that played Slusher's name. But anyway. So I had them all on there. And Shiny McLean played a villain in this movie. The main villain, Uma. She's like, I don't know, she's the daughter of some pirate. I don't remember. I know she's the daughter of Ursula, I'm pretty sure, because. And someone else. Because I'm pretty sure she's the daughter of Ursula because she can turn into like an octopus. Because at the end of the movie, she was battling him as an octopus. She put a spell on Ben. And make him make it seem like he was in love with her. And then 
And when they were on the ship at the coronation party thing, they were battling each other, and she was she turned into an octopus. So, yeah. Sorry if this may be. No, I mean, sorry if this, um, like, not maybe, this review contains a few minor to major spoilers. But, anyways, so, it was a pretty good movie. Basically, the whole plot line was about Mel. She was over, she was overwhelmed with all the princess stuff. And so she didn't think she belonged on the, belonged in Ordon. So she went back to the Isle of the Lost and she met. And she saw Uma, and Uma was jealous and mad because she didn't get picked and to go to the, go to, um, um, the, um, aisle, I mean, not the aisle, go to the school in Ordon, so, yeah, and she was the villain, the main villain, and I thought she was really good. She's a pretty good actress, so yeah. And um, so yeah. And of course, the main cast was good, and there was also a new villain kid. Well, I guess she's she's not necessarily like a villain. She's a villain kid. She's the daughter of um. I think. Uh, the evil stepmothers. Well, no, she's the granddaughter of the evil stepmothers from. Um. From Cinderella. And she's either the daughter, I think she's the daughter of one of the, the two evil stepsisters. Either one of the two evil stepsisters of Cinderella. And her name is like, I don't remember her name, it's something with a D. Zella or something? Zella or something? That's, I, that's not, not, probably not right. It's something with a D, but I can't remember what it is. But, um, anyway. So, overall, so they battled and like, um, fought Uma off and, and broke the spell on Ben by True Love's kid, of course. And, so yeah, that was basically the plot of the movie. I hope I didn't spoil too much for you guys. And overall, I thought the movie was really good and really awesome. And, they said it would blow the first one out of the water. I think they, it did. Even though the first one is really good, and the second one was really good, and I really hope they make a third one because these movies are just like so awesome. So yeah, that's my basically my review on Descendants 2. So I hope you guys enjoy my review on Descendants 2, and so yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm going to be making a Raven's Home review, episode 1 review, right after I make, right after I finish making this and 2 review. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below nice comments. Toodles!